minute. All right, today I'm going to show how to set up one of these three phase motors that you can get out of a VCR and how to get it to run off of the previous circuit. So right now I have just a simple motor that I pulled out of a VCR and you can see here there's uh, four little spots, little weld spots, soldering spots where the wires from these coils come into the, to the circuit board. Um, over here there's two other soldering spots and what those go to is this little resistor that is used for the standard circuit but we're going to not even be using these, we're just going to be running off of two of these points. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to tell which ones you want. So what we have here is my voltmeter and I have it set to ohms and what I'm going to do is just kind of touch the different points um, usually you'll find one that's a little bit larger than the others and that will be your common because what they have is three windings um, you have a start for each three and then you'll have a common where the ends of all three connect together and so what we're going to do is look for that so if I connect two of these points you'll see that we have so the ohmmeter climbs up, it goes up to about 12 and a half ohms right there. So if I connect it to the other side over here, see if I can get a good connection. And it should also go, if I can get it connected. There it goes. Nope. There you go, 12 ohms as well. Okay, and then we'll go to this last one. That one's only 6 ohms. So, the greatest ohmage is between these two and these two, and this one being the lowest ohmage, which is probably going to be your common. So we'll test that with these as well. There's 6.2. And this one should be 12 something. There you are. And then this one. Should be 6.5. Okay, so what that's, that's telling us is that each of the three coils is about six ohms from beginning to end and then if we connect between the two of them it'll be a combination of 12 because you're multiplying one coil times the other coil so that'd be two which should give us 12 ohms so what we're gonna do in the next I'm gonna pause it here in a second I'm just gonna solder probably these two right here from let's say this is coil A, coil B, and coil C what I'm going to do is solder a little wire from B to C, and this will work whether you go from A to B, B to C, um, and then what we're wanting is the maximum ohmage. So if we went from B to the common, it wouldn't work as well as it would from B to C. And you'll see that here in the next circuit, or in that set setup. Alright, so what I've done is I've just soldered two wires. This is A, B, C, and then we determined that this was the common one where all three of these connect to. And so I've connected between B and C. And on my little diagram here, this is the circuit. And this is representation of the, the three-phase motor. And what I've done, I didn't actually connect to A, I connected to B and C. But you could do, also do it between A and B, it doesn't matter, it's just for this demonstration purpose. Um, and so there you are. This is a real easy motor. The, the three uh, beginning of the coils were right in a row. And in my previous video, I showed you I connected to this one, which was a lot more complicated to try to figure out. But uh, as you'll see, both motors work really well. And here's the circuit board that I had. This is kind of a mess right now. But here's my little diode that I have here. And then this is this is the PNP, and this is my 
high voltage, high amperage NPN, which works really well for running these three little three phase motors. So you'll see how to connect this up. And it doesn't matter which wire you connect on the circuit, it'll work both ways, which is a real nice thing about this circuit. You don't have to worry, like the Bedini, you had to hook up the wires in a certain way to make the motor run. And this one is kind of foolproof. So I'll hook up the power. You just got to give it a little spin. And there it goes. It's got pretty good torque. And you can see from the power supply, I'm almost at 12 volts. Let's go ahead and turn it up. There we go, 12 volts at 0.15 amps. So about a little more than a tenth of an amp. And this is running at real high RPMs. And it even has pretty good torque on it. Which is really impressive for these little motors. This just really goes, compared to those little stepper motors, this thing is a high RPM motor running off the circuit. One other little modification I've been working on, instead of running off this little low voltage transistor, I bought this little transistor a while ago. It's a TIP32C. So it's a PNP transistor, but it's a little higher voltage and a higher amperage rating. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll replace this transistor with this one, and you'll see we get different voltage readings and different amperage readings out of the circuit. So pull that one out. Put that one in. Get the power. It's still going just... And then one thing I've noticed with this transistor is it needs a little more amperage. So I'll go ahead and crank this up. Turn up the voltage to about 20. And it'll take it a little bit longer to get going, but once it goes, it has even higher RPMs compared to this transistor. And I think this is just, this is a lower voltage transistor. It's more efficient. Whereas this one is not as efficient at the lower voltages, but at the higher voltages, you get a lot more speed out of it. And this is what I'm looking for on the circuit that I'm going to be building from a bicycle or a scooter. And just still keeps climbing. It still has about the same amount of torque as the previous one. But that's pretty impressive for just two little wires. You can get these little three-phase motors running off of two transistors. I'll show you one more time the circuit. Real simple circuit. Several people have been working on it, such as Lid Motor. You can check out his YouTube channel. I believe Smart Creations and, and Lid Motor have both kind of worked on this circuit. But it works on both the stepper motor, whether you hook it on C and D or A and B, or even these little three phase motors where you hook it on any one of these. And get it to run. This is just an extra little capacitor I was trying to hook up and work with some resonance to see if I can get any different effects, but I didn't have much luck with that. But I was really impressed with how these three phase motors run and RPMs. I haven't been able to see another circuit work with the three phase motors like this one has. So there you are.